Dan Passarelli here. Well, tomorrow is going to be a big day. Uh, tomorrow we are getting CPI released, and we're going to be looking for, at least the forecast is, for the year over year to be 3.7 and the month over month to be 0.3. So if we get, uh, you know, I think if it's a tenth of a percent either way, not a big deal. But if we see the like the month over month coming in at like half a percent, a lot more inflation, that could be fairly bearish. And we could see some of what we've been seeing, this monstrous move we've seen over the past three months. We could start seeing a bit of a reversal. And I think if we get a much, much smaller inflation reading, holy moly, we could see a pretty big move to the upside uh, if the core inflation comes in at like point uh, month over month 0.1% or if the year over year comes in at like three and a half or lower. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. Three and a half might not do it. Maybe 3.4, 3.3, we might see a takeoff to the upside. Now, that being said, later this week we have PPI. And on Thursday, we have the typical weekly initial jobless claims. And the forecast there is 220,000. And that's relative to uh, last week, it was 218,000. So looking for it to be fairly in line. A lot of times when we get disparate numbers out of jobless claims, people do a little bit of scratch in their head and they say, okay, well, what is this excluding? So... Um, I think that that's not quite as telling as CPI. Not that CPI is the Fed's main inflation indicator, but it is an important one. So that's what all eyes are on this week, including earnings. Uh, we've had most of the S&P 500 has released earnings, but we still have quite a few releasing this week, and then we're going to get into retail earnings season. So lots to look at, lots to do. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.